Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I am High Lord Tamerlane, and this here in front of me is yet another Kingdom Death release. New one, sci-fi one, and this was supposed to be the Death Grey edition of Urza? Ezra? Whatever her name is. But it looks just like the regular photo resin one, so boo earns. Sci-fi, Urza. It's time for Urza's legacy. So inside we have the usual art card, we have the usual postcard, we have the usual bases. But who cares about that stuff? We've seen all that stuff many, 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 many times. Let's take a look at the actual model. I like this model because it wasn't as cheesecakey as the others. And it's just kind of a boring lab technician, which was a bit of a switch. Something different. Okay, what have I got myself into? Let's take a look and find out. So we have the main body itself, which surprisingly is pretty much all built. Obviously, one thing I've learned having built just about every one of the Death High models so far is with this photo resin stuff, you do need to do a lot of cleaning and filing. And you know what? I probably won't because I'm pretty damn lazy when it comes to that kind of stuff. I'm no golden demon crystal brush painter level person, so I'm not going to bother. But I will try to get it cleaned up, obviously. Got the body and a head with her tool in her mouth. A part. Oh, it's her hand. Okay, I don't know if those little knobby things are leftover artifacts or they're supposed to be there. And then there's this scary mess. Oh, okay, it goes like that. Her bag of tools. That's uh, going to need some cleaning up. I don't know. Maybe I'm strange, but I find it cathartic clipping off all those little tiny bits and bobs. I really, really love doing that with old... GW Finecast models that I would find cheap on eBay. In fact, you know what I had to do? I had to do like something like a eBay finds thing. So yeah. All right, I'm rambling to myself here, but here is her sci-fi robot arm. And yep, we're gonna need to clean that up too, but that's okay. We'll find all those little artifacts and slice them off happily. It's just kind of interesting seeing a fully clothed Kingdom Death model. It doesn't happen often enough, but it does every now and then. So I just wanted to point that out because every time I talk about Kingdom Death Models, most people go, Ooh, they don't have any clothes. It's so misogynistic. Well, it is and it isn't. But, you know, at least she's got clothes. She looks cool. She looks smart. She looks handy. She looks capable. And I am more than eagerly awaiting painting all of those male pinups when they come. And I absolutely guarantee 100% that you'll be seeing each and every one of them on this channel. Oh, yeah, and I will paint them up in all their fabulous glory. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about those fabulous men that I can't eagerly stop thinking about painting, and we're going to get Urza here all put together. And we've got Urza pretty much all cleaned up, or at least cleaned up enough that I am satisfied with her. It was a bit tricky trying to figure out, maybe it was just my model, what were the little artifacts that needed to be cut off and what was the actual kit. So I'm pretty sure I got it all. There were quite a few little parts here that were kind of stuck on the wires, straps, whatever they are. And finally I figured out there's this robotic hand here. And you had to actually glue the arm on and then attach that hand underneath the jacket, which was kind of an interesting little lesson in frustration, but it went together pretty well. I think I've got the hands all, or fingers all cleaned up correctly. There was a bit of necessary cleaning under the coat, and I think I probably should sand it again. And I think I got her screwdriver okay. So she has this other big chunk of hair that actually needs to go on last. So you want to glue the arm with the bag, strap, gear, whatever this thing is, and then glue the hair on last. And her little telecommunications thing she's got going on there as well the other hand so cool little model doesn't want to stand up as neatly and nicely as she should sadly and just to give you guys a good sense of scale i grabbed a couple of the other sci-fi models now keeping in mind these are plastics whereas our friend here urza is actually a photo resin. Now mine said this was supposed to be in death gray resin or whatever, but you can see that's not very gray. So I don't know if this was just a fluke or that's what color it's supposed to be, 
but it really doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to be reselling it or anything like that. We're going to go ahead and paint her and get her hanging out with all her sci-fi friends here. So, no worries there. Nothing lost, nothing gained necessarily. I am kind of hoping that we're going to see more in the way of sci-fi starting survivors like Urza here than in the near future. And you know what would be really cool is seeing a male sci-fi model outside of the Twilight, or not Twilight Night, Flower Night. We did have the sci-fi Flower Night, and come to think of it, there might have been a sci-fi Twilight Night as well. Male Twilight Night. I keep thinking there was. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know the Flower Night. I had a Flower Night, and I sold it for an ungodly amount. And I am quite okay with people wasting their money like that because it helps pay for the stuff on this channel. So, yeah. With that said, hopefully since she is a photo resin model, we'll see her popping back up now and then. Especially if we see more sci-fi photo resin models in the near future. And I'm totally fine with that myself. Hopefully you guys will be as too. And I must say my farewells now because it's time to get to bed. This is High Lord Tamberling with Obscurities of Miniatures saying see you later and good night.